Welcome back. Welcome back. We're playing uh, AP Shaco versus Garen in this game. Uh, now both, uh, let me just show you this, we'll back it up. Here. Both teams have invaded the enemy jungle. So Udi has wandered into this jungle and, I've, and they've all wandered into ours. Now no fighting happened, thankfully, because there was five people in our jungle and we were only watching this bush here. Uh, I placed a box on this red buff for this Udi and he's starting here. And then he just immediately gets spotted, which is annoying. So he smites it, doesn't get to level 2 yet. Alright, now he's level 2. He ghosts on the Garen. But of course, you know, Malphite's just here because he's a mid laner. So, a bit of a waste of time. I also just, like, if you take the red buff first, the one that has the shaker box, you do it a lot faster. And now he has to do this really slowly. I also just wasted a bunch of mana, so I wasn't really very happy with the Udi about his uh, <coughs> jungle selection there. And then he has to fight this Jax, because the Jax knows he's in the jungle, right? So thankfully, I was pushing in the Garen, because I saw the Garen mid, so he's now pushed under turret and I can rotate into the jungle. But I feel like this would have been so much easier if Udi had just started red. Anyway, so Udi beats up the Jax, because that's... Well, yeah. <laughs> actually, I accidentally learned E second here, which is not helpful. Usually I go Q. I should steal this rib. <laughs> uh, I see Garen rotating down, so I decided to not go that way. Walk around. Uh, <laughs> our uh, Vayne dies, and I think she starts flaming the support. Uh, I'm just going to go back and watch what happened, and I'm trying to see if this is actually supportive. Because uh, that's what the vein is saying. So, Hook is great. Uh, I don't think that's support diff, I think that's vein positioning diff. I don't know what you guys think, but... That's... yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Not sure about that one. They're still level one, so you're gonna fight level two as a level one. Bad stuff's gonna happen. Uh, so anyway, back to the top lane. We're even CS here. This is pushing to us. We're doing all right. Uh, Garen's level three, so we're a little, little bit behind in XP. We just need another minion or two to die. This one, there we go. Level three. Uh, I'm a bit low on mana thanks to all the fighting and superfluous box placing and stuff like that. So. Uh, just going to try and clear out some of these using existing resources. <clears throat> um, try and get that cannon, but it gets immediately queued by Garen. Rude, rude. And then I get it. Nice. Okay, so we're doing alright. Um, Udia comes in for the gank bot. Caitlyn's just diving. <laughs> uh, okay. Thresh gets a free kill, I guess. Um, Walking into a Jax. Oh. Is this Jax gonna get messed up? I think they can kill him here, I don't know. Anyway, uh, nothing much going on in our lane. Uh, Garen went back, got double long sword, so he's much stronger than me now uh, in terms of items, but we haven't fought yet, so that's good. Um, I'm quite happy with a, a passive lane early on. We can just farm up. As soon as I get some mana, then we'll start you know, working on his health and stuff like that. Uh, I don't remember doing a whole lot of fighting against this guy. This guy actually, this guy had some uh, some decent some decent gameplay at some point. So I'm, I was not uh, I was not kind of expecting it, I guess. But it's good. It's good. Uh, I want to play against people who will take advantage of me spraying. Because um, that's the only way you get better, is if you play against people who call you call your bluffs or, um, you know, take advantage of your mistakes. You gotta punish. You gotta get punished for those misplays. Otherwise, you'll just keep making them, right? Alright, so he's he last hitting pretty well. He's up by three, but... Yeah. Considering uh, there's a wave coming, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm happy with how things are going so far. We've got almost our um, almost our last chapter. 
I don't know about that E. I think that's just to make him back off a little bit. I, I think that's probably a waste of mana, to be honest. It's Garen. I'm not going to be fighting him anytime soon, so poking him when I haven't got a full mana item is probably a bit of a waste, I would say. Um, oh, it's because I was level 6 before him. That's why. Uh, but he's hit level 6 now, which I just noticed, I think, just then. I think I remember cloning and fighting him, and then I see he's level 6, and I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, I accidentally walk out of range of my clone, uh, and then it blows up. I would have much preferred to have left it on him when it blew up, for obvious reasons, but... You know what? Clone mechanics, they're not easy. So, if you make a mistake, it's all good. Lose a little bit of damage on the guy, just like, regens like crazy anyway. Um, so we're just kind of, you know, dancing around farming at the moment. Uh, it is on this, and he gets spotted, so... I'm not keen to go on this, because it's just, yeah, he's pinging the mid laner, but like, what's he going to do there? I mean, you getting collapsed on, I don't even know how they knew he was there, to be honest, maybe, oh, he probably walked over this or something. I don't even know how they knew. That's kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, notice that the, he didn't ping me for some reason. He was pinging the Kassadin, but not me. Maybe because I did a warning ping that Garen was on the way, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, so Garen now has a kill, because he ulted, uh, he ulted Idia. So I'm kind of just chilling, just trying to get some farm, get some gold, get some items, get some mana. Mostly just mana, really. Interestingly, I feel like if I was going there, I would have just spun back up towards lane. Because that's where you're going to go anyway, right? That's where the minions are. Um, if I go there, then great. And if not, it doesn't really matter because we're just back in lane. I feel like that was a, an unforced error by him. We get the clone damage on him, doesn't do anything at all. So we're just going to try and clean up this. I'm actually trying to bait him into like going on me here, but yeah, doesn't really work. Um, I think I want to try and get a back here as soon as possible. My TP is up. And I probably have enough for at least Lost Chapter here. Um, I'm getting a bit greedy wanting to get the XP from these minions. Um, get the gold. Alright, try to clear these out. He's backing, so that's excellent. Try not to get these minions pushed into the tower. Alright, so just hopefully instant recall here. Fast forward a few seconds, a bit of a uh, crazy fight happening over here. Hook, hook, hold on. Okay, good, good, good. Caitlin's okay, still here. Okay. Uh, Udia blissfully aware that there's a Caitlyn hunting his Thresh right next to him here, and he's getting surrounded. This is just really bad map awareness by Udia here. Terrible, terrible awareness. <laughs> and the Kate already had a couple of kills before then, so there's no there's no reason you shouldn't think she's a threat. Uh, so we lose Dragon off that as well. We might have anyway. Uh, I'm getting some plates because I see uh, Garen down there. Just gonna try and do my best to get some farm and stuff. Um, Get the clone to deal some damage to Garen, maybe clear out some minions for me, get some poke on him. Box myself in. Alright, so Garen now has three kills, and none of them are from us, and we're even on CS. So, not the best. Uh, I think he's just too tanky now to, to actually poke down, which kind of sucks. Because uh, he's, he's, he's only a similar level to me. I'm almost level 9. He's actually ahead of me in, in uh, XP now as well, which sucks. So he's, he's so hard to kill right now. Uh, if you're going to kill Garen, it has to be reasonably early. Otherwise, you need to be pretty farmed and have like a bunch of mana items and stuff. I'm trying to set up a freeze here, uh, just so I can farm safely till my TP's up again. Uh, Cause I think I've just used it. So, yeah. um, this is rough. 
This is not where you want to be against Garen. He's actually deliberately trying to trigger my box here, I think. Yeah. Okay, we got the cannon. It's all good. Just use boxes to clear out the rest of the minions here. Alright. So we're, we're equal in CS. This is good. Uh, I think I'm just cloning up to see if I can get some damage on him. I think, I'm thinking these two are coming up. Uh, the Cassidy and the, the Udyr. Um, but it looks like maybe they're not. Or they're hanging around down here. Uh, looks like they want to fight for Void Grubs. Not sure. Cassidy's gone back here to kill the Malphite. Okay, Malphite has to ult away. Yeah, my fight's actually up in CS, but he's not, not doing too well on any other. Okay, go see in. Cassidy's come to join us, so put the box up this time. So get the fear, put the ignite on someone. Drop a, drop an E on someone. Nice, get the kill. Good stuff. All right, two assists. I'll take it. Get the void grubs. Cassidy died, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> He's just here to scale. It's fine. I want him to help me push this in, but he leaves. Uh, looks like it's okay. I back. Karen's gonna push anyway, so it's fine. Um, running, running, running back to lane. Bit of a fight happening in the mid lane here. Uh, Alright, so I have my black, black Fire Torch, Garen's got Stride Breaker and Zeal already, which is scary. Um, I think Garen got a couple plates there, which sucks. I really wanted that wave pushing as soon as possible so that that wouldn't happen. So this is the reason I was asking for the Udia's assistance. Um, so just going to try and keep the minions off the tower at, the, at this point. Uh, Garen's roaming around again and... He runs over two wards, so if it's anything bad happens, can't say you didn't know he was coming. Uh, Udia goes on the Garen a little bit here. I'm, I'm not keen for him to do that. Then getting chased. All good. They're going to get Dragon again. We, we collapse on the Garen a little bit here. Get the slow drop a box in here. I'm trying to stand on top of Udia so that he can't target him with things. Uh, I'm just going to leave. He's going to turn around, run into a box. This is good. I drop a box in here in case he chases. Get the slow. Drop the ward in the brush. Can't quite get him. Can't quite get him. Drop another box there in case he goes back. So he's quite low. Um, this is where you see a nice outplay by Garen here, actually. Spoiler alert. Pretty, pretty clean. Like that's exactly what should happen if, if I do that. Basically, uh, <laughs> I actually type. I typed to him in old chat and I said, "Nice, like nice play, kind of thing." I just give him the props he deserves. Um, that was nice. He he queued and like instantly flashed. So I don't have much time to react there. Uh, I can try and queue away, but. The uh, the Q probably just kills me. The Q and the uh, Stride Breaker combo. So we go back. We get our uh, boots completed. Doing all right. We're a little bit behind, but uh, not. You know, we have one death, and he has five kills. So that was not necessarily our thing. Um, Kassadin. Yeah, I'm just zoning him out a little bit as best as I can while we get Rift Herald. Good stuff, we get it, secure it. There is a box here, so I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it. If he runs into it, I want to be ready. Um, but Malphite's behind him, the whole team is here. So they're, you know, doing some good uh, map plays here. Garen's harassing Udyr in his jungle. I think this Garen's actually pretty decent. I think he's he makes some good plays. Seems to know the limits of his champion pretty well. Um, these guys pushing in mid, Grand's very low. I'm just going to try and get top tower, because I can't really help much with the siege. My champion's not really built for that. Oh, the exhaust. Oof. Wow. 
If that exhaust doesn't go down, I think he gets a double kill there on the brand on the cape. No. Good exhaust, good peel. Just poking Garen down a bit. So I have mana now, so I'm, I'm, you know, my cooldowns are getting lower. So I'm just poking slowly. Um, just trying to get some advantages on him. Keep him low so he doesn't feel like he can uh, engage on me without risking dying. Because I do have Ignite. And sometimes, you know, there are occasions you accidentally alter clone and it explodes and kills you, you know? So you got to be careful. Trick is a uh, tricky boy. Tricky boy. So, clearing some minions. We're, uh, we're up in CS finally. Um, so this is, this is again, where I think Shaco is coming into his own. Uh, he can actually start placing stuff without dying. Um, Udi wants to make a play here. I'm just going to pretend like I'm not here. And then by the time he realizes it's like a bit too, a bit too late, uh, I get distracted, like I get turned around a bit there. Um, this Udi gets annoyed because people aren't here, but I get there. Uh, I think I get a kill on a brand here. What did I die to? Brand killed me? Weird. So I just want to see what I actually died to there. Okay, so my clone's here. <laughs> Condemned into the wall away from the boxes. I'm trying to get autos here. I didn't even see what killed me. I have no idea what that was. I don't know if you guys spotted it. You can tell me in the comments. I'm very curious to, to know what the game thinks uh, killed me there. I don't know if like, it looked like I got crit by something invisible, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Cassidy, uh, so my my Udi is very upset at my Cassidy in this game. Um, he he split pushing instead of team fighting with us, and there's a whole bunch of people who could be dead. Uh, I don't like this thresh hooking people and risking his life for towers we can't defend. I would just like him to leave. Um, but yeah, Kassadin's taking a tower. I, I don't mind that so much, but he's level 10. I need him to be level 16, really. Um, but level 11, obviously, is the uh, alt upgrade that he's ready for next, which is, you know, not far off. He's almost there. Um, I'm level 12. I don't know why everybody else is so low. Uh, like, I know I'm a solo laner, but I'm two levels above uh, Kassadin, which is a little bit strange to me. I'm not sure what, what's been going on, because I'm, yeah, I'm like half a level. A level and a half above him. This vein? Uh, very strange. Uh, so I'm like trying to farm everywhere I go. I go top and she and Thresh come and steal my stuff and then I go bot to try and farm and then I get gangbanged by like <laughs> six people. I'm just like, I just want to farm guys. I just want somewhere to get minions. Like, you know, like everywhere I go, Vayne's following me and taking my CS. I don't know if she's got some vendetta against Shakers or something, but she just, yeah, she just wants all my farms. And I, and I get it. You're like, you're a vein player, but... Yeah, shakers need farm too, you know. There you go, get him in the tower, yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't hate that threshold, I think that was fine. I think the Condemn on Vayne is a little bit early, but that's okay. Uh, Udia is now top. Oh, the barrier. So I really want to just try and snipe someone here. This Jax is looking juicy. Dead. Good. Got the Ignite Auto E or something like that, and then he eventually burned. It was lucky because I. Oh my gosh. Okay. She's, she's trolling a bit. <laughs> she's trolling. This Kate gets so fed in this game. She's got seven kills already. So is the Garen for that matter. Everybody on their team is ahead. I think. Yeah, I'm the only one on my team doing okay. I mean, I guess the Udi is. 535 as well, but he just entered top lane for some reason. We're struggling, we're struggling, but we continue. I just saw this get placed over the ward, so I dropped the ward and I instantly queue away in case there's a Malphite ult coming over the ward for me or something. 
Um, I really want to just like clone over. I'm trying to like do the clone trick on the wall where I appear over and then I just like cue back just to get some vision. I'm trying to send the clone in. He gets stuck on the wall or something, which is weird. Um, I'm trying to like click on the lantern, but my clone's getting stuck. It, like I don't think the clone actually can pick up the lantern. Look at this damage though. So we get, kill the brand. The Kassan picks up the other kill, which is excellent. Chasing down the jacks. I get the slow with the E. Gets a triple kill. This is good. This is good. If that hook hits, we probably just die of the game. But that clone did so much damage. And actually the Thresh was complaining that our team doesn't deal any damage. And I was like, well, I don't know. That clone just like... <laughs> kind of did a fair bit there like that clone basically triple killed you know, got the triple kill for the casted in there got him low enough that he could just run in and execute them all um Udi is still again jungling instead of paying attention to things going on it's lucky that the thresh is uh ready there with lanterns and assisting uh i'm just like holding off the the minions in our base because everybody's like kind of split pushing around and stuff uh, anyway, we're, we're doing all right. Um, we have the Landry, Leand, Landry, Leandry's complete. Uh, got the Black Fire Torch, we got the Lucidity Boots. We're doing well, we're doing well. Um, this is this is a tough game because they have a huge front line. They have uh, Garen, Jax, and Malphite all front lining, all pretty tanky, all steel deal damage. They have engaged, they have crowd control, silences. Oh my gosh. Thresh blocking another one. Malphite coming in. Yep. There it is. So when we're team fighting, we really need to be uh, playing around boxes, I think, here. It's the only way to do that. Thresh is just out of position here. I'm sending the clone to try to like confuse people and just like poke them down. Uh, it's really hard at this point. Just get some poke down. Does a quarter of her HP, maybe a third. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, can't really do much about this, unfortunately. We're, we're two players down for no reason. And <laughs> the Baron's almost killing Brand here, which is great. I really, I really want to try and get in there and kill some of these low health targets because I'm sure yeah some of them are uh, low but I just can't get there fast enough so I'm just going to try and ward up a little bit apparently I was standing on a ward here which is why she's recalling I was just waiting for this because there was I thought there was someone down here maybe it was another game um yeah so we're we're, we're struggling a bit here we personally I feel like we're doing okay but the enemy team's just getting so strong now. Um, I've boxed up around here. We're just gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and kill this Garen. Thresh is engaging alone when we're not ready yet. He gets the hook though. Painting Vayne instantly ults. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, good stuff. Um, so we're kind of lucky that. Thresh didn't just get one shot by that guy in there, but that's a big shutdown, I'm pretty sure he had, so that's good that it went to pain. Uh, I'm just going to push out a little bit here. Oof, it's tough, it's tough. Um, even the Jacks being behind, one and five, um, he still has, you know, two completed items in his Jacks, so um, he just deals damage and he's quite tanky. Um, Malphite comes to match me. He has Baron buff, which sucks. Because there's no way I'm pushing against this guy. Um, I, I'm checking the scoreboard. He's 425. He does have a, a Seeker's Arm Guard, so he does have the Zonia's kind of effect. He runs into a box. I'm trying to, like, trying to bait out the clone. Uh, I want him to ult the clone, but he, I think he saw me clone, so I'm just going to let him uh, take some damage from it and run away. I think I see him here. I want to I wanna try and kill this guy, so I'm trying to like box up and then the Zonyas. I don't know about that play. So now he's in kill range. 
Felt the flash as well. Meanwhile, on this side of the map, I think my team ends up derping a little bit hard here. The Brandalt kills the Thresh instantly. Uh, the Vein tumbles and they can't coordinate their movement and he dies. I don't know whose fault that one is. I mean, that's just unfortunate, really. She tried her best. Uh, Dragon is gone. Uh, I'm just pushing top as best as I can. I've, you know, I've one v one someone who was, you know, ahead, <laughs> and you know, I don't know what else I can do here. Garen TP's here. I drop a box and I clean up and I just like run him at him. Um, so we take a third of his HP. That's not bad. It's not bad. This is Warden and I'm recalling here. I think I know that he's coming for me, so I've dropped a second box here. So he's quite low now. I'm just dropping boxes, I'm poking, I'm trying to delay him as long as I can while still pushing. He goes to get some fruit. Um, he knows there's a box there. I'm fairly certain that he's just going to get fruit and that I'm probably not going to be able to kill him, so I'm just going to try and leave here, I think. And it's Garen, so he's you know, gone from half HP to three quarters uh, in 30 seconds time. Um, what do we got? I'm going for the Shadow Flame again. Uh, my team's getting picked again, so we have a three for zero. I'm just going to zip this back to see what actually happened. So Thresh is here. He's just baiting. He misses the hook. Jax just goes in. They're not watching the flank. Good, good lantern, but unfortunately, yeah, not that boom dead. Thresh gets caught too. Good play, but too late, and somebody else died down here. Just gonna try and see how this person dies. Who died down here? Oh, Cassidon. All right, let's watch what Cassidon does here. So Caitlyn orders him twice down to sixty percent health. Is Caitlyn. Uh, and then this is happening. Oh no, sir. No, no, no. So he R flashed, trying to get directly under Caitlyn's face, over flashed, and then realized his damage wasn't high enough. Okay, so I drop a box. I just get a sneaky E on her. She's She's almost dead. Um, it's a shame that I, yeah, my cooldowns are so long and there's a brand next to her, otherwise I would have just run her down. We're just clearing things out. <laughs> the enemy has five people alive in our base, and it's really weird here, and it is off jungling for some reason. I don't know what he's doing over there. Uh, I think we, we know she's there. He doesn't smite her for some reason. I don't know if he doesn't have it. No, he didn't have it up. Uh, meanwhile, our base is just in tatters right here. Um, but, you know, Udyr counter jump, so I should be able to win the game off one general camp. Cassidon massively overextends here. I'm able to get the brand here, but he just runs through Garen to try to get the kill. And there's no reason for that. So, Cassidon entered for, the, for nothing there. And in fact, if he stops chasing, there's more like... Like, there's a higher chance that I actually get the brand because maybe the brand stops running. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. That was another unnecessary death by Cassidy there for a kill that he was probably never going to get and that I already had secured anyway. There's no way they stopped me. Uh, Caitlyn just does 1,345 damage on an auto attack there to me. Um... Yeah, let's just, let me just show you this. So, I'm at 900 HP here, roughly, just under 800. Boom. I looked at the uh, death recap on that one when that happened, and it was 1,345 damage. So she did 500 damage more than she needed to to kill me there. <laughs> so she did 50% more damage than she needed to. Uh, to kill me in one shot there. Um, that, yeah. She has 12 kills at this point, so 
you know, that's going to happen when she's got 200 CS. Ooh. Life is hard. Life is hard. I mean, it's cool when that happened. Okay, she's got a barrier. She missed the flay, but Cassidy gets to execute on it. Malphite misses ult, which is huge for us. Huge. Uh, I'm up in four seconds, so that's good. Jax is going straight to Baron here. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm keen to go contest this Baron. Um, Udi is not, unfortunately. Uh, so there's, yeah, there's only three of them alive. So I'm like, I'm keen. I'm keen to go for this. To at least interrupt it. So I'm portaling over. Trying to box up on my way as well. Probably doesn't matter at this point. They actually do it pretty quickly. The, the brand damage is kind of crazy. Yeah. Unfortunate. I was about to clone up and like try to send the clone in, but like, I didn't like clone up, put it back here, and then jump in and have it explode. But I was just too, they just do it too fast. So, um, Thresh is, uh, Getting caught a bit here. Oh, excuse me. Goodness. Been uh, recording videos all day and I haven't been sleeping well recently, so pardon my guys. Mm. Oh, if that hook hits, that guy dies. Alright, what do we got? We got the Shadow Flame complete. We're working on the Death Cap. We skipped Ludens this game. Um, I think versus the tankier team. It's not a bad choice. Um, okay, the gang goes too deep when I engage on their backline a bit here. Um, I managed to get on the backline and kill the brand here. Um, Kassadin's going in. It's getting work done. It's good. Um, Thresh dies, but not really super important. Uh, the reason we won that is because it was a 3v5. Uh, the Caitlyn was not there, and the Jax was not there. The Jax... It's pretty weak still, but the Caitlyn is like full build. Like she's actually full build, and she has Baron or something as well. Killed my clone, which is fine. Rudia smites her, but she gets away. Cassidy goes on over, gets one shot, and I'm just like doing my best to get on her, but and the barrier is still there. GG's, GG's. It was a fun game anyway, even though it was very chaotic, but those can be the most fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one.